Pippa Middleton's billionaire husband James Matthews and his maiden Chelsea star brother Spencer have both been claiming taxpayers' money to furlough staff, Mail Online has learned. Hedge fund boss James, 45, is believed to have been using the government handouts to pay the six employees of his Scottish shooting estate. Younger brother Spencer, 32, worth an estimated £3 million, has also furloughed staff at his startup low alcohol drinks firm, the Clean Liquor Company, established in June. The state funded coronavirus jobs retention scheme, CJRS, running since the first lockdown almost a year ago, is designed to help cash strapped employers survive the lean months of the pandemic, but eyebrows will be raised at two such high net worth individuals taking advantage of. Share this article. Share both companies appear on the government published list of firms which made use of the furlough scheme during December, but previous months have not been made public. Under the CJRS, furloughed workers receive 80% of their wages, up to £2,500. The government website did not reveal what staff at both Matthews companies are. The Clean Liquor Company Limited lists Spencer as its only director and was only incorporated in June. However, before setting up the limited company he received an investment from a U.S. venture capital firm for 145 meters. Spencer is also a director of the Eden Rocks Gems business, with jeweler Neil Dutson, which he launched in 2019 after helping design an engagement ring for his Irish model wife Vogue Williams. They got married at Glen Affric in 2018, have two children and have spent lockdown in London. No accounts are publicly available for the clean liquor company yet due to its recent incorporation. James who has also spent lockdown in the capital with his wife, is set to inherit the Scottish courtesy title of Laird of Glen Affric which came with the 10,000-acre estate of the same name near Inverness that his father bought in 2000. James is listed as managing director of Beaufort Glen Affric. One of James' smaller companies, Beaufort Glen Affric Limited, based in Inverness, was in the red to the tune of 95 meters, according to the latest published accounts in 2019. It is this company, believed to handle the running of the Glen Affric estate, which has claimed under the siege having launched his own hedge fund company, Eden Rock Capital Management Group, named after his father David's exclusive £1,000 a night hotel in St. Bart's. In 2017, James was estimated to be close to, to being a billionaire by founder of the Wealth Quotient website. Date more recent estimates of his wealth have put it at up to £2 billion. He owns a £3 million private jet and bought a six-bedroomed, £17 million house in 2014, which boasts a car stacking garage in the basement, along with an underground home cinema. The CJRS scheme was launched on March 20, 2020, initially for three months, then extended several times and will now run until the end of April 2020. Initially the scheme was only for those workers who were on their company's payroll on or before February 28, 2020. This was later changed to March 19, 2020 making 200,000 additional workers eligible. On the first day of operation 140,000 companies applied to use the scheme and its cost has been estimated at £14 billion a month to run. Spencer dropped out of a degree in film and television at the University of Southern California and went on to dabble in nightclub promotion for London clubs such as Prince Harry's favorite, Bougies, before going to work as a foreign ex Spencer and James' brother Michael died at the age of 22 when descending Mount Air. Both the brothers are directors of the Michael Matthews Foundation a charity in his memory which supports education projects in Asia. A spokesperson for James Matthews and Spencer Matthews declined to comment when approached by mail. John O'Connell, chief executive of the Taxpayers Alliance warned that the public have long memories about those who failed to help the national effort during the lockdown. He said, lockdown has had a massive impact upon the economy and now every penny really does. Some businesses have repaid the support offered to them by taxpayers. They should serve as an example for other firms that have come through the past year and taxpayers have long memories of those that helped in the national effort and those that did. Tory MP Tom Hunt agreed, saying, it doesn't help the situation if people claim who might not need to. I fully support the furlough scheme, but I would hope that wealthy individuals who are claiming from the scheme do bear in mind that this is public money for those who really need it and that it's for the public. When Victoria Beckham was revealed to have been using the furlough scheme for 30 staff at her fashion company last year, she swiftly performed a U-turn and handed back the cash. Victoria who's combined £335 million fortune with husband David, is a fraction of that of James Matthews' wealth was said to be devastated by the public reaction to her using the scheme. Earlier this week, former rugby star Mike Tyndall, 42, married to the Queen's granddaughter Zara Phillips, was criticized for using the government furlough scheme, apparently to pay himself, through his company which handles his income from public.